Well, welcome back to another fishing adventure, folks. I'm here at the big water today. Big, big water. It's pretty chilly. It's, it's 9.30 in the morning, but it's still pretty chilly. It's probably in the 50s, and I'm in the shade, too, so that doesn't help. Yeah, here's what I'm dealing with today. Big, big water. As far as the eye can see that way. As far as the eye can see that way. I can see the other side that way. But uh, the wind's blowing a little bit right in my face. I'm guessing 10 to 15. I think it's supposed to pick up a little bit more than that uh, as the day goes on. Uh, last time I was here was July, and uh, it's September 25th now. The water is about two feet higher, I think, than it was last time I was here. And uh, waves are crashing on the rocks here where I'm gonna be landing fish. These rocks are all slippery. I'm gonna have to be careful of that. It's gonna be kind of a challenge landing fish here today. Fun, fun, fun. I already got my feet wet and I haven't even started fishing yet. Just uh, going down there just to rinse off my hands. But uh, hook bait I'm using for today is some spicy uh, sriracha tiger nuts. This is a fresh batch that I made, uh, I don't know, it was a couple weeks ago. They've been sitting in the fridge for a couple weeks soaking up the flavor. Historically for me, this water body has been pretty hit and miss fishing. Uh, it's kind of that way. It's always that way really on giant bodies of water at least for me there's just so many so many places for these fish to be you know at a smaller pond or a lake you know you could depending on the the conditions and the time of year and stuff you can probably bet bet on there's only two or three you know or four places where the fish will probably be on a smaller body but uh i don't know in a big big place like this there's probably a couple hundred of those places where the fish would would probably be uh, so, yeah. But I do believe that this place where I'm fishing today is one of those places. Uh, comparatively speaking, uh, as far as deep goes, deep in this water body is 40, 50 feet. There are spots out there, more closer to the other side actually, that are 40, 50 feet deep. And right here where I'm fishing, it's a big open uh, flat. It runs on average, you know, eight to 10 feet deep. The theory is, on these cool fall days when the sun is shining, the shallow areas are going to be a little bit warmer than the deeper areas. That sunlight penetrating. And uh, that's where the fish are going to be. That's my theory. That's what I'm going with today. This is leftover pack bait that has been in the fridge for like a week. It's not very common that I leave something in the fridge that long, but I've been busy. I haven't been fishing in almost a week. As you can see, all the sweet feed pellets have disintegrated into uh, powder form. And uh, I had to add a little bit of water to it, but I don't remember what's in it. But uh, I think it, it's got like a chili powder smell to it. So there's probably some peaches. It's probably a sweet and spicy kind of thing. That's what I've been doing a lot lately. The water's not that cold. Water is probably in the low 70s. It's my guess. It's water is definitely uh, warmer than the air. So I can only fish with two rods here. I'm in South Dakota, and uh, the strategy I'm going to go with, I think, is I'm going to put this first one uh, maybe 20 yards out from the bank, and the second one maybe double that, 40 yards out from the bank. Try to have two different. Uh, uh, distances from the bank, even though they're probably both going to be in about the same water depth. So that was the short one. This is going to be the long one. Don't want to throw the bait off though. Yeah, I just did. Okay, got to redo that one. Yeah. Pack it real tight. This sweet feed in there, you can pack this stuff as tight as you want. It's not gonna, it's not gonna turn into a dough or anything. It'll, it'll dissolve after it goes into the water. All right, let's try this again. That's better. Yeah, that's probably eight feet deep there. Yeah, so as I kind of alluded to earlier, the fishing at this place is usually pretty hit and miss for me. 
I have caught some really good fish here, some big catfish, some big carp, but it's usually long periods of time of nothing and just a few big fish. It's like big fish only. I've never caught a small carp or a small catfish here. <laughs> big fish only, but uh, who knows, you know, it might be eight hours before I check in again and, or, and have a fish. You never know. Yeah, but it's worth a shot. You know, I could have I gone to a place a lot closer to home, a lot smaller, easier to read uh and probably being guaranteed some fish but uh i don't know i'm after the whopper today wish me luck <laughs> you know while this this old pack bait is perfectly fine i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna spawn this out while i'm waiting for the bite here and i'm gonna make some new uh fruity fruity bait to use for my pack bait oats sweet feed pellets and I had some real good luck the other day making a super fruity uh, bait with these uh, Fruit Loops. I'm going to do here. I got these left over. A lot of sugar. And then for liquid, let's see. I guess I'll go with the fruit cocktail. And I'll probably add a little bit of water too, just because I've added that extra cereal in there. First thing I'm going to do is smash up that uh, fruit cocktail. All right, take a look at that here. I already know it's going to need a little bit of water because I made the same uh, same mix the other day. So let's go grab a little water. Yeah, you know, grabbing a little bit of water is not such a simple task here at this place. I'm going to fall and break my neck getting some water. All right, I got to find a spot in the rocks. That'll work. I got about half a can there. That's too much. I'm just gonna about like that. There we go. I'll use that for for the rest of my baiting on my rigs, and let's get this stuff put in this bomb and throwing out there. I wasn't planning on uh, spawning any any bait out, but I just thought, well, I've got this third rod here that I can't use. Might as well spawn some bait out there while I'm while I'm waiting. All right, we have some action. Fish on. Oh. Oh. It's, uh, I think it's like two o'clock. It's been several hours. This is the first bite. This feels feels good I feel a tail banging on the line straight out in front of me right now this fish started off heading off to the right right when he got hooked but it's just kind of straight out in front of me I'm being gentle there's a lot of rocks here and uh, I don't want to get snapped off on the rocks but yeah he's right here it is a carp, for sure. I need to keep them up in the top part of the water column right here because it's not very deep in those rocks. Oh, it's a good fish. Yes, 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 that's a real good fish. Get in here. Big fish. Get in here. Nope, you can't go down in those rocks. He's in the net. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
That was intense. Yeah. Glad I didn't break my ankle on those rocks. Big old river fish in the net. <laughs> well, I just found the hook and it's not in his mouth. Must have ripped it out. Well, he's thrashing in the net. Just went ahead and cut that line. Because it was tangling in the net. Let's get a weight on real quick before I hold him up. Stop, 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 stop. He's right at 20 with the net. Yeah. Big 19 pound river fish. This fish is so thick. I'm not gonna measure the length on him, but he's not that long. But the shoulders on this fish are just something else. I mean, look how thick this fish is. So yeah, it was a little over 20 pounds with the net. So I'm gonna call this a 19. It's about two o'clock. Uh, so uh, ten, let's see, I started at 9.30, so, you know, four, four and a half hours in, this fish bit that uh, spicy tiger nut and the uh, Fruit Loop sweet Fruit Loop pack bait. Back in the water he goes. <laughs> Give him a minute here. Regain his composure. He wasn't out very long, probably three, four minutes at the most. The water's kind of chilly, so I'm sure that helps too. I'm really glad that this fish didn't, uh, you know, break me off on these rocks that are just below the surface here. Yeah, he's poking his nose in the net here. It's time to go. Hold on. There you go. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> yeah. That was exciting. My heart's still pounding. <laughs> so I cut that line. I'm going to have to retie here. Not a big deal. Kind of hard to retie when your hands are still shaking from catching a big fish, though. <laughs> And that fish came on the line that was casted a little farther out. I don't know if you remember or not, but I said at the beginning I was going to fish one that was pretty close to the bank and one uh, that's a little farther out. The pretty close one was probably, um, uh, I think the pretty close one's probably 20, 30 yards out, and then the farther one would be 40, 50 yards out. And that fish came on the farther one, about 40, 50 yards out. I'm not going to change anything. I'm gonna, still going to keep fishing a close one and a, and a far one. But I just uh, wanted to point that out. That, uh, it was about 50 yards away from the shoreline. That's where that fish came from. And those of you who are pretty observant may have noticed that the wind has uh, calmed down quite a bit since I originally got here. It's supposed to actually increase according to the forecast. But we just have a light wind right now, you know, five, five to seven maybe. And uh, it's nice, I don't have to yell anymore over top of the sound of the waves, I guess. <laughs> and uh, it did make landing the fish a little bit, uh, a little bit better without all those crashing waves. But, but on the flip side, the bugs are, the bugs are pretty comfortable in this light wind there. They're bugging. Same rods, same spot, but uh, it's been about an hour and a half since that last fish. Good weight, good weight. Yeah, this is another big fish. Way out there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but a bunch of weeds on my line. Oh tail banging on the line. 
I'm gonna get down to the water's edge, get my footing, land this fish. Fortunately, this rock right here is dry now. It's, it was wet earlier, and I wouldn't dare stand on it, but I think I'm good here. Ah! Got honeybees. For some reason, there's honeybees around here today. They keep buzzing around me, and that's stinging me, but they keep getting in my face. This fish is heavy. He's right here. I want to keep them straight up in front of me. Off to the left, it gets pretty shallow over there. Uh, but it drops off pretty good right here. Right here is a perfect place to land them because there's just less rocks to rub that line on. Don't know what size fish we're talking about here, but it's not small. I can guarantee you that. Get this net out in the water. down see if I can just sneak this net up under. No, no, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. There's rocks right there. Oh. I almost got him to swim right, in the, swim right into the net. Come on. Got him. Big fish in the net. Another big fish in the net. <laughs> Yeah. Right, this fish is still hooked right in the bottom lip. <clears throat> Tiger nuts. Yeah, this is 17 pounds in the net. Look how stocky this fish is. Came out 17 pounds in the net, so it's a 16 pound fish, but he's pretty short and super hefty. I mean, wow. The, just the belly and the thickness of this fish. That's incredible. Uh, yeah, it's about, uh, I don't know, three something. Oh, it's 320, my alarm's going off. But uh, yeah, so you know, been fishing for quite a few hours, fish number two, and uh, yeah, about an hour and a half since the last fish. But, oh. I mean, for this place here, like I said, I don't, I don't catch a lot of fish here. So two fish in one day, it's a pretty good day. So yeah, once again, this fish came from my line that was farther out. I still haven't, I've got two fish on the, the line 50 yards out. No fish on the line that's like 25, 30 yards out. So this guy's ready to go. He wasn't out for more than a couple minutes. See you later, big boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've caught 30 pounds of fish, but I haven't caught a 30 pound fish yet today. Still got a little bit of time left. Well, six and a half hours of fishing at the big water and two big fish. That's a pretty good day in my book. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. See you on the next one.